Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 10-2, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We are coming down to L-4 minutes, 20 seconds and counting till launch. We are waiting for SpaceX to begin their live coverage, and the moment that they do, we will patch them in. We're monitoring weather conditions down at the site, as they are currently sitting only at 40% go for launch here today but spacex did confirm that they had propellant loading underway so we do expect them to go live here momentarily for launch and uh, we will uh, patch them in the moment that they do if it's your first time here though welcome my name's zach i'm the founder and host here at the launch pad and here at tlp it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together and i just wanted to start off by uh, reading a statement that we put out on social media about an hour ago uh, here at the launch pad, we stand by the live coverage that we provided yesterday of a suspected emergency on the International Space Station. We delivered raw, unedited audio clips on X and then began live updates via YouTube, sourcing information directly from NASA Space Station, uh, NASA's Station to Ground comms, a source no one would have ever questioned in the past. We only provided updates from verified statements from NASA, Space Station, and SpaceX, not social accounts with unnamed sources. Like everyone who heard the audio yesterday, we, are we were deeply concerned for the astronaut's safety. The moment NASA issued a statement, we immediately shared updates across all of our platforms and concluded our live coverage. While we are always open to feedback, and we will always strive to improve to learn from every broadcast we do, I will not tolerate my team or myself being subject to targeted hate, attack, or threats. I am particularly disheartened by the number of so-called team space individuals and accounts who have engaged in this behavior over the past 24 hours. Our mission at TLP is to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. Thank you for your support and understanding. Yesterday was a very dramatic day, a very dynamic day, as we navigated what seemed to be a major emergency on the space station. We are all thankful that uh, it ended up not being uh, the actual uh, scenario that we heard. It ended up being a drill that got leaked onto the public comms. Uh, but uh, we appreciate those people's support, those that have, have been sending in positive comments and feedback as we continue to uh, navigate uh, the uh, outcomes of yesterday's uh, incident on board the uh, space station. That is going, uh, we are counting down now, just the next few minutes, until the uh, launch of the SpaceX Starlink vehicle. We're continuing to uh, monitor conditions down on site. SpaceX has yet to go live at this point, which is a little bit interesting for uh, how close to launch we are. Uh, and we'll see if we get uh, any sort of updates from them in the uh, next couple of minutes while we await the launch of SpaceX Starlink 10-2. As always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. We'll work on answering those live here. I see that they did just update the T0, uh, it looks like, to 6.30 uh, p.m. local time here at TLP Studio, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So we will update our countdown clock uh, to that. They must have done that right as we hit the go live button. Uh, so we will update that, uh, and we will count down to this new T0. Uh, a short uh, delay, so not long there, as we uh, count down now 16 minutes, 45 seconds, and counting to launch. We'll use this time to answer your guys' comments and questions. You can send those in the chat by tagging us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live. Lots of people tuning in from all over the world. We got Sydney in Maryland, Ginger's in uh, Lakewood, Washington. We got Michael in California, Andrew's in Perth, Australia. We got Fonda at MSFC in Huntsville. We got Roadman in New Zealand. Great to see you. And we got Randolph in Costa Rica. Uh, Gene is in Gainesville, Florida. And we got Luke in uh, Shinier, Texas, uh, home of the Shinier Beer. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Take a moment. Let us know in the chat where you're watching from. We are now counting down L minus 16 minutes and counting. You can ignore this screen. Uh, we don't know why this is on the looping uh, live weather. Uh, it looks like a to-do list for a supervisor tomorrow because uh, uh, on there it says vacuum. Uh, so that does not have anything to do with uh, today's uh, broadcast, but uh, the other screens are up to date. So we count down L minus 15 minutes, 45 seconds. For those that were monitoring the uh, balloon launch, 
uh, attempt of Excalibur, uh, the second flight uh, attempt, the launch was canceled. Uh, we've had no information to why. They just ended the stream and have wrapped that up. So the second launch attempt of NASA's Excalibur from Sweden has been uh, canceled and scrubbed for today. So all eyes go to SpaceX Starlink 10-2, set to launch in just under 15 minutes time. If you haven't yet, take a moment, engage that like button, share out the stream, invite people to join us, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage, docking, undocking, or return to Earth. We are counting down uh, just about a week until Starliner is set to depart the International Space Station and begin its final part of its crew flight test mission, bringing Butch and Sunny home. Terry's watching from uh, Penrith, Australia. We got Matthew in Oahu, Hawaii. Great to have you here. South of Hollywood is watching from the OC, and we got Penny in North Carolina. Patrick is in Ottawa. Love visiting Ottawa. Beautiful city. Matt is in Bakersfield, and Trevor is in Brisbane, Australia. It's great to have you all here. Justin asking, think SpaceX will attempt a booster catch on Flight 5? Elon sure seems to think so, so I, I think uh, if Elon thinks they're going to go for it, Unless something pops up in the data review over the coming weeks, uh, we are we are preparing as such. I'll put it that way. Our uh, our team is planning all of our coverage uh, around being ready for a booster catch attempt uh, on the next Starship flight, which will be super super exciting to see. If you have questions, keep sending those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. It just flags them in our system so we don't miss those questions. Catching up uh, on the chat here. David is in uh, Kissimmee, uh, Florida, uh, in sight of the launch pad. You should be able to have a, a view today, depending on what your weather conditions. They were 40% uh, percent go for today's launch as of last update from SpaceX. Uh, so we'll be monitoring what those weather conditions are. You can see on the screen as it rotates around, we are all green across the board at that last rotation. There's no lightning concerns at this time, but teams are monitoring that, but propellant load is underway. Tonight's Falcon 9 is booster 1073 going for its 16th flight after previously supporting SES-22, iSpace Hakuto R Mission 1, Amazonas 6, CRS-27, Bandwagon 1, and 10 previous Starlink missions. Following stage separation, the first stage will float to its apogee and then begin its descent and journey back down to just read the instructions, uh, which is stationed downrange in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, Mark, is this a satellite launch? Yes, there are 22 uh, Starlink uh, V2 minis on board uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 uh, heading up today. Uh, we've not had any confirmation of any of those are direct to sell. They normally do directly state uh, that they are direct to sell if there are any. So we do believe these are all 22 regular Starlink V2 minis. Uh, Gehima Martian, do you think Starship will launch next month? What do you think they will do with the booster if they catch the booster? That is a good question. I think they will... Honestly, I think they'll try to fly it again if they can. Bind you, there's a lot of us that would love to see it, you know, saved and, you know, kind of museumed uh, if uh, they do catch it. You know, that first, that first catch would be amazing. Uh, and I think the first recovered ship would be amazing to have both of those saved for history. But uh, we'll have to wait to see. Do we think it's going to be next month? I think uh, if you're a betting person, putting money on July would be pretty good or August. I think that's where we're falling. I would be very surprised if we reach mid to end of August and we haven't seen it uh, flown just yet.
And if you're just joining us, we were at L minus 8 minutes, 35 seconds and counting, but SpaceX has just called a scrub for tonight's launch uh, due to weather. They will now target Friday, June 14th for the next possible launch attempt, so we hope you will join us back here for then. That doesn't mean you have to go anywhere. We do have two live streams running always 24-7 here at the Launchpad Network. Of course, we have our Starbase Live camera where you can look around Starbase, and if you are a member at a Starbase Explorer higher, you can control the camera even. And we have our 24-7 ISS Live with some beautiful views from the International Space Station and live station-to-ground communications when they happen. Parker, thank you so much for that gifted membership there. We appreciate it. That is going to do it for us here tonight from our TLP Canada studio. My name's Zach, and we will see you next time because space is better together. Good night.